Hello friends, this video on electromagnetic waves part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 6 before going ahead with part 7. The properties of electromagnetic waves. These properties will basically tell us how electromagnetic waves became such a very important concept in our day to day life. So the very first property that we will discuss is that the velocity of electromagnetic waves in free space or vacuum is a fundamental constant. So it was experimentally observed that the velocity of electromagnetic waves in free space was nothing but the same as the velocity of light which is denoted by C and that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. That is a fundamental constant. Right, and this value is equal to 1 by root over mu naught epsilon naught. So Hertz performed this experiment on electromagnetic waves. What he did was uh, in laboratory, he tried to produce electromagnetic waves and then tried to calculate several uh, properties of electromagnetic waves. For example, he tried to determine the wavelength of the wave. He tried to evaluate the speed of the electromagnetic waves. So all these values were obtained by Hertz in his experiment. Right? So they are all experimentally determined values. So the first thing was velocity of electromagnetic waves in free space or vacuum is a fundamental constant. That is the speed of light which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per seconds. Right? The next property is no material medium is necessary for electromagnetic wave. That is quite obvious as I said vel velocity of electromagnetic waves in free space or vacuum. That means the electromagnetic waves can propagate in free space or vacuum. A material medium is not required. However, if a material medium is present, it can, it can propagate even in presence of a material medium. So if, even if some medium is present, the way electromagnetic wave can propagate. Even if the medium is not present, the electric magnetic wave can propagate. That's because what is required for electromagnetic wave to propagate? It needs an electric field and a magnetic field which is vibrating and changing with time. So now you really don't need a medium for electric field and magnetic fields to vibrate, right? So therefore you really don't need a medium for propagation of electromagnetic waves. But what happens if a material is pre if some medium is present? In that case, the velocity of the electromagnetic waves is V, which is given by 1 by root over mu epsilon. That is mu naught and epsilon naught gets replaced with mu and epsilon. Mu is permeability and epsilon is permittivity of the medium. So this mu and epsilon changes their values with each particular material of the medium. Right? So in, the, in that case, the velocity of the electromagnetic wave is depends on the permittivity and permeability of the medium. So now we can see this with the help of this example. Let us suppose you wear a spectacles, right? What happens in your spectacles? Spectacles means you have glass, right? So glass is a medium. Now what happens when light rays fall on your spectacles? Can't the light rays pass through the glass? Yes, it can pass. That means light waves can propagate in presence of a medium. That means light waves can propagate in presence of a in presence of glass. That is a presence of material medium. So as I told you before also that Hertz in his experiment found that the behavior of electromagnetic waves in many sense were similar to that of the light waves. Right? Later in this chapter we will see that light is nothing but a particular category of electromagnetic waves itself, right? So this is how we can show that the electromagnetic waves can propagate even in presence of material medium. Here if you see you, you have a cup of uh, tea, you have a glass with juice. So in each of these what happens when light falls on them? Are they able to pass through the medium? Yes, they can, right? So uh, electromagnetic waves can pass through a me medium, it can pass also it through vacuum. It is just that in vacuum the speed of electromagnetic waves is equal to the speed of light and in presence of a material medium it is given by 1 by root over mu epsilon. 
electromagnetic waves carry energy and momentum that is what i discussed in the previous slide that the energy associated the total energy per unit volume carried by electromagnetic wave the total energy per unit volume carried by electromagnetic wave is given by epsilon not e square now this total energy is partly carried by the electric field and partly carried by the magnetic field so now since electromagnetic waves carry energy and momentum it becomes a very important uh, property for many of its practical purposes for example the electromagnetic waves are used for communication purposes as i told voice communication over our mobile phones or the telecommunication used for radio i mean you are able to hear to your radio because your the antenna attached to your radio is able to catch the signals being transmitted from your radio stations so that communication also takes place that communication between the antenna of the radio and the broadcasting station also is possible because of electromagnetic waves because of the fact that electromagnetic waves can carry energy similarly your telecommunication for your uh, television so all these communication systems are applications of this particular property of electromagnetic waves that they can carry energy and momentum electromagnetic waves exert pressure why so i mean how do you know that they exert pressure since electromagnetic waves carry momentum therefore they exert pressure and the pressure exerted by electromagnetic waves is known as radiation pressure so the pressure exerted by electromagnetic waves term is termed as radiation pressure i will give you an example of um radiation pressure for example the sunlight which we receive that is nothing but an electromagnetic wave what happens if you are standing under the sun if you suppose if you keep your palm open to the sun what happens after some time your palm becomes warm right you start sweating after some time why does that happen why uh, i mean what how is heat transferred to the hand that's because when the sun shines the energy is radiated to the surface of the earth so the sunlight is nothing but it is transferred in the form of electromagnetic waves and these electromagnetic waves carry energy and this energy is transferred to the hand so energy transfer takes place from the surroundings to the hand as a result the hand gains temperature or the temperature of the hand increases and it becomes warm so let us suppose that the total energy transferred let us suppose the total energy transferred is given as e let us suppose this is the total energy that is transferred to the hand so what would be the momentum associated with it momentum would be nothing but energy per unit speed that is the speed of light because sun rays are received by us in the form of visible light and the speed of light is c now in this case the speed of light is extremely high that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now since c is extremely high therefore the momentum is very small now since the momentum is very small therefore the pressure experienced is also very small because in this case what i tried to show was i said i told that electromagnetic waves exert pressure now the rays of the sun which we receive that is in the form of visible light and light is also an electromagnetic wave so in that case when our hand becomes warm in presence of sunlight that in that case that electromagnetic wave or the sunlight should exert some pressure on our hand so why don't we feel that pressure why don't we feel that the okay sunlight is exerting so much of pressure on my hand that's because the speed of the light is very high and since the speed of the light is very high therefore the momentum is very small and since momentum is very small therefore the pressure exerted is also very small because pressure is directly related to momentum how now from very basics of physics pressure is nothing but force per unit area and what is force force is nothing but mass into acceleration per unit area and what is acceleration it is nothing but change in velocity by change in time right and what is mass into change in velocity that is nothing but change in momentum so pressure is directly related to the change in 
momentum right so if pressure increases momentum increases if pressure decreases momentum also decreases so these are some of the properties of electromagnetic waves that is their speed they do not need a medium to travel in presence of medium also they travel with a velocity which depends on the material of the medium they carry energy and momentum they exert pressure which is known as radiation pressure thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again